It's going to be six by a mile. You're going to get 230 rest in between. It's going to be progressive. The first three, we want to make sure it's it's really patient. So it's uh, you guys get rolling on the on the last. Three. <laughs> for the top group, we want you guys not breaking five minutes for the first two. And then after that, we go 455. We can cut down from there. You guys can you guys can start rolling on the last four last three. Okay. So let's really make sure we're patient. We don't want to leave our race in the workout today, but we do want to get our legs turned over and getting that burn by the end of the full workout. Talk a little bit about um, you know the team's mindset going into a big meet like Wisconsin. Yeah, well, Wisconsin is one of the biggest meets of the year, and the 8K before the regionals and national meet. There's all something like 22 nationally ranked teams going through the rankings after a bad performance at Notre Dame. I think we slipped into be like the 13th ranked team in Wisconsin. So our aim is just to go there, be competitive against the teams. It's a big field, so a lot of uh, potentially the, champ the NCAA champions are going to come out of this meet, so it's just good to see where we stand at this point in the season against the big teams. Um, you guys feel, you know, um, you finished third at Notre Dame, um, you were sort of the favorite going in. Do you guys feel like you have something to prove again now that you've dropped in the national rankings a little bit? I feel like we always felt like, felt like we had something to prove. Going into Notre Dame, we were um, the favorites per se. But in our own minds, we weren't particularly putting too much pressure on ourselves. We hadn't done any hard workouts. We'd done one workout that was particularly hard. That was about. Uh, that was it. We did just May hundreds, and we were just focusing on the later. We, we, we our aim was to be a, a postseason team, not not a season uh, team during the season. So Notre Dame was disappointing in the respects that we dropped a lot in the rankings. But it was promising to see the times we all ran, considering the amount of work we'd put in. So I think Notre Dame was. We can look at it in two lights when all the pundits like Flow Track and the coaches Paul would have saw it as a uh, disappointing run but how we saw it was like a, a season opener and it was promising not perfection but promising so I think it's good okay just uh, talk a little bit about the team's general goals for the season beyond the Wisconsin so obviously the goal in, if, is to make nationals so we have to go through the uh, regional the regional the southeast region which is a very tough region we won it um, 2012 in the same course we're racing this year. Last year we got third, which was it was it was a good it was a good showing. But this year we definitely want to go to the southeast region and be regional champions. It'd be a great honour to represent the EKU and win that region. Then going on to the national meet, our highest finish was 15th the year they won the uh, southeast region. And we feel like as a team that this year is our best chance to uh, make EKU history and just break the record. It'd be like a a great honour for all of us to just mark our names in the history books and get a top 10 finish and who knows when you're, once you're in, at the meet we have a great performance, other people don't run as well as they could have done, who knows where we could finish but our aim is just to get into that top 10 and then just make a name for EKU going on into the future. What does it mean for you to be a part of such a, uh, you know, such a nationally renowned program? It's, it was a big eye opener for me, coming from England, cross country is much more of an individual sport so when I came as a freshman and I redshirted, my, I redshirted, I didn't really realise the magnitude of cross country and being part of the team. But after going through the rounds last year, being part of the team and this year, it's, it's incredible to have such a great support from the coaching staff, such great support from the teams, just being part of an incredible D1 programme and having this opportunity to run and compete against potential Olympians, Olympic champions potentially. It's just incredible. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better, a better place to be at than EKU.